today's video we are going to make sure that we can complete an objective right now when we have our objectives or our um, quest in the quest log we can click on it and see the objective and when we get these potions it doesn't react to it because we haven't implemented that yet so we have to implement it and where should we do that well in the quest um, script we have something called collect objective and inside that one we have to make a new a function called update item count this one will update the item count um, I can promise now that we won't change this a little so that we have some more general functionality in the objective here so a function we just overwrite but um, uh, because I think we might change it a little around when we add the um, what is it called the kill quest later but for now we, we will just do it down here anyway we have the update item count and what should it do? Well, we need to take in an item and we need to compare that item to whatever this objective is uh, is handling. And in this case, it's a health potion, right? So we need to make an if statement to say if my type, so the type to lower, because we don't want to check for large and small letters. If the type to lower is the same as the item dot my title to lower, well, then we have the same item. So my type, in this case, is whatever type that this quest is tracking, in this case, potions. To lower just makes it all small letters. So if we wrote it like this, potion, it will actually be like this. Because it makes to lower, and then we can compare the two strings by doing this. And we also to lowering the title of whatever item we get in. If those two are the same, if the item we just picked up um, is the same as the one we're tracking, then we say my current amount is equal to inventory script dot my instance dot get item Let's see if we even have that function so get item count so we need to be able to ask the inventory hey how many items do you have of this thing so that we can know how many potions we have the reason that we are not um, just adding one to our current amount is the fact we will get some wrong um, amounts at some point if we remove something later and stuff this is a safe way of doing it just by asking the inventory how many items do you actually have so we need to create a get item count function and it's fairly easy um, if we go to the quest lock somewhere and uh, not quest lock sorry the inventory there and we where should we do this we have place item open close mm, doesn't really matter where we put it but yeah, let's just put it here in the bottom then. Let's make a function called, um, it should be public. It returns an integer because that's an amount of items it has. Get item count, and it takes in a string. So it takes in a string, let's say health potion, then it counts how many health potions it's had. We make an initial count, which is zero, because when we start counting, we start with zero. And then we make it for each loop. And we check all bags in the bag collection. Run through all the bags. And when we've done that, we run through all the slots. Oops, not a for loop, but a for each. Run through all the slots in the bag. In bag dot my slots, isn't it called that? What's it called? It's called my bag script dot my slots just need to remember where everything is okay so we run through all the bags every bag has a lot of slots so we just run through all the slots in that bag if the slot isn't empty if it isn't empty well then it has an item then we can check if the slot dot my item dot my isn't it my item dot my title is the same as the type we are looking for if that's the case, then we say item count plus equal uh, the amount of items we have. So that's slot dot my item dot count. Again, here is here is here it is very important that we don't just add one. We need to check uh, how many items there is on the specific slot. So just to recap. We look through all the bags in the inventory. For each bag has a lot of slots, so we check all the slots on each bag. If that slot isn't empty and 
the the title the item that it has on it is the same type as we're looking for we just add on to the item count how many items we have let's say we have a stack of three then we take three and add it to item count that's why we don't just do like this right because then we only add one but if it's a four stack or something then we are missing three items so like that and when we're done we simply just return the item count go so with that in place we can go to the arrow here inside the quest collective objectives and get item count uh, what was it actually i was doing i was getting the item count on the uh, item dot my title there. so then we have the count okay so this should be working we can try to do oh we're not even calling it yet but um let's do debug.log my current amount then we can debug it out okay this item update item count where do we need to call that well we need to make sure that it gets called every time we get more items and remember we have an update item count changed event somewhere uh, that we can use let's see here oh Yeah, we have this on item count change if you remember from the other videos this is called every time we change the item count if we lose an item or if we update an item or take an item then this one's called so we need to call it when this event is triggered which means i can go to my quest log i guess there and i would like to go to the accept quest function and then i need to make sure that i check all my objectives so for each collect objective let's call it O as an objective um, O in quest dot my collect objectives again this might be more generalized later so each objective in that collection I would like to say inventory script dot my instance dot item count changed would like to assign that uh, um, a new item count change event. What function would I like to assign it? Well, the objective I'm looking at, update item count. So what are we doing? Well, when I accept the quest, I check all the ob collect objectives. I am running through all the collect objectives from that quest. That could be one or it could be 10, right? Well, when I run through them, I recognize every single collect objective as O, and I check, well, this is a collect objective, so I need to make sure that it is triggered or it is checked every time the item count event is checked. So I just assign the update item count function, which we just created right here. I assign that to the item count change, then what, which we made sure is triggered every time an item count is changed. And this means that every time an item count is changed from now on, Um, okay, couldn't tap like that. Give me a sec, sorry. Um, every time an item count is changed from now on, this is going to be run. So let's see here. So if I add some backs, nothing is going to happen. But if I add a potion, it's still not working. I guess I forgot to save. Give me a sec. Okay, so we can try to test this out in Unity, and it might not work. So let's see. If you press the L button, you can see there's no debug.log. And let's check why that is. We can go to the quests and set a breakpoint here. You don't need to do this. I'm just going to do it. And if I run this, and I want to pause the code when I run it, you will see that my type is written health potion without a space. And my title is health potion with a space. So we need to change the type or the title to have a space or to not have a space. So they're uh, identical. So the type where is that written? Let's try to find the quest giver and see we have something a health potion here. Let's just make a space here between health and potion. And then we can try to run it again. And when I press the L button, see there is a debug and it shows how many health potions I have. Now it's a six. Well, if I take and delete one, it says five. So it updates also when I remove stuff. So now we have 
an updating uh, function that works. So we can delete the debugging. What's next? The next thing we have to do is to make sure that it updates out here in the text uh, because we, we don't update right now, right? We um, have a quest log and when we click this one, I would like this number here to update every time I get a new potion. So how do we do that? Well, we need to go to quest log. Let's find it there. And then we have to find a function or create a function for that matter called update selected. What is update selected going to do? It is going to update the selected quest so that we get the right amount of kills and the amount, right amount of items picked up. Simply it's going to say show description on the selected quest. That's easy, right? That's all it's going to do. Where are we going to call this? Well, we can simply just call it in the quest collect objective right here. We can say quest block dot my instance dot update selected so now we're updating the selected quest so let's try we run our game we have a quest we see oh we don't have anything and then we start collecting them and there we go so now we can see how many potions we have so this is deselecting with the color and everything we'll fix that later don't worry but it's fine to have 14 out of 5 it's like it just shows how many you have so that's all I want to do in this video. In the next video, we will make sure that we can complete our quests. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Please remember that Inscope Studios is a community founded page. So please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.